I just installed a Ford Home integration kit, the charger, the truck, the backup, everything. And this is a really cool product. This video, I'm going to be overviewing the components, how it goes together, and below, I'm going to be compiling a bunch of different resources, whether you're the homeowner purchasing this product, or you might be in an installer or an electrician putting this all together. So Sunrun partnered up with Ford to put together a solar panel battery system with a Ford Lightning EV charger kit and make a complete package. Sunrun doesn't service all the areas throughout the United States and outside of the United States. So they will sell you the products as the consumer that you could purchase and hire an electrician to put together the system for you. Or if you're in one of those areas, you can just have Sunrun do it. Chances are you're not gonna be watching this video if you're in one of those areas. The components in this system for a full backup um, setup is going to be, of course, the Ford charger. And then you're going to have what's called a micro interconnection device. And then you're going to have a um, bi-directional inverter and a dark start battery and then optional with that setup a LG battery or batteries and then of course solar panels I have to say that Ford and Sunrun managed to put together the world's most confusing electrical plants which is not helpful because this is a really hard system to wrap your mind around as far as what connects where and how it is custom made to your home. I want to like disregard the one line diagram and walk you through kind of how this goes together. Your first point of connection is going to be the actual charger. And I've seen a lot of people on different forms get this wrong. The, the charger itself from Ford does not connect to the backup panel it connects to the main panel that's generally on a 100 amp breaker, two pole 100 amp breaker for an 80 amp circuit. The genius of this product is that there's that circuit with the 80 amp breaker, but there's also a DC run. Now that DC run goes to the bi-directional inverter and the bi-directional inverter is going to go to the backup panel. The truck charger goes to the main panel, AC, and goes DC to the inverter, and then the inverter goes AC to the actual um, backup panel. Now, in between the backup panel and the main panel is the MID, the micro interconnection device. I would describe this device as intercepting um, some of the circuits that will be located in the backup panel. Along with that, you have several different low voltage runs. You actually have a, um, a low voltage run that goes from the inverter to the uh, charger. Um, it's just a low voltage DC on like 14 gauge wire. And then you also have some uh, like uh, Cat6 Ethernet runs um, that go from the uh, charger to the inverter and from the micro interconnection device to the inverter. Um, the inverter does have a dark start battery as well, um, which is mounted to the wall and then has a pre-made whip on it. So putting together this installation um, physically can be challenging. Once you get your mind, once you understand how this thing is wired up, then you have to go to your application and with the location of your meter, the surface area on the wall and where it's at, you're going to have to figure out how to position all of these things. With some tips for you, because this is not easy, I would recommend using a gutter, um, like a, not a four by, not a four by four, but a six by six. And you may need two four foot sections of gutter. I would also recommend using two inch conduit and one inch conduit whenever possible. The three, the manufacturer knockouts in the bi-directional inverter um, is three quarter inch. Um, the charger, you can cut out your own knockouts, um, which I chose to do one inch. And um, for the uh, micro interconnection device, there's two inch pre-made knockouts. So I would recommend using the three quarter inch for the inverter, the two inch for the micro interconnection device and one inch for the charger. Uh, you're going to want this equipment to be as close as possible together and to the main panel because there's limitations 
um, with how far the current transformers can be and the charger can be from various things. If I wanna give anybody advice if they're installing this um, for the first time, there's a few general things that I didn't understand or I ran into issues with that caused the project to drag out longer. So here's my advice. This is a battery-based inverter. So if you are not installing a battery, which I assume a lot of people are not going to, they're planning on using their truck as the battery, they may not even install solar. In that situation where you have no solar, no battery, when you're commissioning the inverter, you have to have at least a 50 volt DC output plugged into the inverter when you turn the system on. Don't forget about the low voltage. There's um, just two runs of low voltage um, from each of the components, but if those RS-485 terminals are not correctly tightened down and those connections are not good, you will not be able to set up the system. Well, overall, this is a really cool product. I've had the opportunity to install a lot of similar installations and I'm really excited about what Ford and Sunrun has done. I wanted to create this video as a resource to people who are trying to get this installed and need help because I want to see the success of this in our industry. The ability to drive your vehicle up and power your entire home off of it is something that's just starting in our industry and the potential doesn't just land there. The idea of having micro grids that can back feed to the grid as a whole and support it is, is something that is coming forward and is essential for the success of electric vehicles and solar panel systems. Below, I am going to include some resources and I want to try to build this out over time where I'll have links to different vlogs, different videos, and different trainings from Sunrun. Because Sunrun did put it, put together a um, installer or field guide, um, referred to as an SOP, um, where you can go through the training, go through different check marks, and see how all of this goes together. So all those links will be compiled below, and I'll try to continue to upload that and have the, my hopes is that the description of this video ends up being a bigger resource than the video alone. Thank you for watching this video. I'm glad that you found my channel. Please subscribe, like the video, and then comment below if you have any questions. I'm hoping that a lot of people who are installing this product can comment and we can interact with each other with best practices on how to get this product installed correctly. And so it is a huge success for the consumer as well as Ford and Sunrun.